Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to take the buttons that you've created in either PowerPoint, Canva, or some other software and embed them into your Canvas site and make them linkable. So the very first step that you need to do is you need to download your files and save them on your computer someplace. And then when you've done that, you're going to go to files, which I have opened already in another window, and you are going to upload them. Now, what I recommend, and this will make a little bit sense later, is that you title your folders some way to make it easier for you to stay organized and for you to find your files. And the way that you do that is click folder and you can add a folder. So I'm just gonna add one to example. Okay. You can upload, so let me click on example number two. So let's say I wanna add files to this folder. You can either drag and drop files here to upload and you can drag and drop multiple files at the same time. So here are some examples of old files that I had and I'm just gonna take all these and drag and drop at the same time. And it's a really quick process. In the past, you had to actually click on the folder and then you could select multiple at the same time but being able to drag and drop is pretty easy. See how quickly that went? Or if you click on upload, you can select the file that you want or the files that you want and then click open and it will also upload that way. So now that your files are uploaded, go to the page that you want to insert the image and you're going to edit. So I'm just going to make some space here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little image right here that says embed image. Click on that. You're gonna to go to Canvas. Now this is why it's important that you organize your folders somehow, because you're gonna click on Course Files, and notice how I have my folders here. I just created this one for this video, but if I didn't have any folders and I just uploaded files anywhere, then I would have this huge list of examples. So for example, if I clicked on this, here is a folder with additional folders of other things that I've created to make it easier for me to find. But for the purpose of this video, I created example number two, and here are the buttons that I just uploaded. So let me click on one. You can only click on one at a time. Click update. And if you don't change the dimensions, then you're gonna get something like this. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can resize this. You can click on the picture itself and notice the little square right here on the corners. You can drag and resize and it shows you the dimensions. I can also click on the box and re-click the embed image and I can see the dimensions right here. So if I'm adding other pictures and I want them to be around the same size, then I am going to type 112 by 104. So let me do another one real quick. Let me insert canvas, go to your course files, go to the file that you put your images in, I'll put unit two, and here I'm gonna resize it to 112. Normally it will automatically change the other box for you. This is slightly off, so I might change it a little bit. And so that's how you would add images. As far as linking the images, there are two ways that you can do this. You can click on the image itself. If you know the URL, you can click on this little chain or the little link and you can paste the URL or type it and insert link. Or if you're doing it someplace within Canvas itself, you can go over here where it says links. So you can click on pages and you can select one of these. So if I want to link it to, you know, number one language of anatomy, I can click on that. Notice how it changed yellow, so that's a clue or a sign that it has been successfully linked. If I want to link it to biochemistry, I can do that. Maybe I want to link it to an assignment. So if I click on assignment, maybe I want this to be the first assignment. I can link that. Or maybe a quiz. I can click that. An announcement, discussion, module, or something else. So that's how you can link it. You can also link it to another file if you want, or maybe an image. And so that's probably perhaps the easier way to link whatever it is that you want. So I linked it real quick. I'm going to save. I don't remember what I linked it to, so we'll see where it takes me. So notice how the cursor is an arrow 
And when I move over this one, because I didn't link it, it still remains a cursor or an arrow. But then when I move over this image, it turns into a hand. And notice also a pop-up comes out telling me that I linked it to um, class number six, quiz the foundation of anatomy and physiology. So when a student clicks on it, there you go. Now, one of the things you need to make sure is that within Canvas is that if you want students to access it, that you publish it. Because if they clicked on that link and you did not publish it, then an error message or it says that page does not exist or you don't have access to it. So you want to make sure that before you do anything is that you click publish and you test it out as a student. And again, you can test it out as a student by going to student view, clicking on that. It's going to give you a page that looks like this. And then I can see that there's a hand now if I click on it not yet available because I didn't publish it. So that's a way as a teacher, you can make sure that everything is set up correctly so that way when students get it, they will successfully be able to navigate it. And if you get a message like this, it tells you this course has not been published yet by the instructor. So that's like, I'm gonna leave, let me go publish it. So that is basically how you take any image or button that you create, like I have here, and you put it into a page and you link it. Notice how there's a hand right here, so this is linked. So if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thanks for watching.